Well, Mark, it's called Project Toes, which stands for Together Outfitting Everyone in Socks. But behind that clever name is a pair of sisters, ages 13 and 9, who discovered five years ago that something as small as a pair of socks can mean comfort for other children. Ready, set, go! Yeah! Together, the Tobin sisters dump out their donation, a thousand pairs of socks for Montgomery County Children's Services. It was five years ago that Caitlin, now 13, went to a school assembly about those less fortunate. What she learned stuck with her. My sister asked my mom if, if those people were, like, if there were people like that in Dayton, and she said yes, and then my sister wanted to help that. So um, then I was like, your little helper. <laughs> really just like to help out people like that. Okay. Soon the idea to collect socks was born. Since then, the girls have collected 9,000 pairs, asking for donations at their school, nearby stores and restaurants, and their parents' places of work. I think it's a generation that sometimes we always look at the bad things, but this is an opportunity to let them shine and say, this is what we want to do to help, and I think um, that's what we want our, our kids to do. Although the girls say Project Toes is a lot of fun, Stock Angel. it's also served as a life lesson, one that they'll always carry with them. We've learned that Christmas isn't about receiving or getting what you want. It's about giving and not... And, and thinking of what other people do for you. <laughs> well, the girls say they'll continue Project Toes until, as they put it, they become grown-ups. Montgomery County Children's Services says the socks will be given to children who sometimes come into the facility without clothes of their own. Reporting live, Holly Samuels, 2 News, on your side. And ladies, you get applause from the folks here at Channel 2 as well.